I recently decided to get every trophy in a game I should have played years ago, The Last of Us Part 1. And to get this platinum, we need to complete the game's main story, as well as get all 254 collectibles and left behind trophies, making the total trophies to 29. And because I'm a professional gamer, I'm going to complete this game without missing a single shot. Um, well at least I have a better aim than this guy. Now I have questions, how the f did he not get one single bullet? The army guy shot several bullets at him. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll complete the game without dying instead. Oh my god. What the f he came out of the wall? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> Surprise, mother What the f He killed me! He killed me! Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, 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 I don't accept that death. That never happened, all right? Let's just pretend none of that happened and move on to our first trophy, Fallen Firefly, which we get after finding the first firefly pendant. Like that. Random guy's name. Oh, Fallen Firefly. And we'll need to collect all 30 of them for the trophy, Look for the Light. But before we can do that, we go to Bill's safe house, where we can get the trophy, Self-Help, for finding the first training manual. Ship's upgraded, Self-Help. Stay right on my ass. <laughs> what? After escaping a horde of infected and making our way to Frank's house, we were able to get the next trophy, In Memoriam. For this trophy, we need to find Frank's note and give it to Bill. This is also an optional conversation, and we'll need to do every optional conversation to get the trophy Getting to Know You. And shortly after reading it, Bill will throw away the note. And to get the trophy, all we need to do is pick it back up. In Memoriam. Oh, in Memoriam. Pick up Frank's note after he discarded it. Unbelievable. After taking care of an ambush, <laughs> With ease, I might add. Look out! <laughs> off game, seriously. Doesn't even give you like a dodge prompt. Hold on one moment, everybody. I'm gonna break this guy's face. Sucked in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah. Can I hit a little kid, mate. Break your teeth. We make our way to the next trophy, Savage Starlight Fan, which we get for finding our first comic book. Ooh, Savage Starlight Fan. Shortly after finding that comic book, we unlock the next trophy, Geared Up, for crafting one of each item. This includes a med kit, molotov, shiv, two types of bombs, and a melee upgrade. Ooh, Geared Up. And I decided to put one of those items to the test. Oh wait, does this thing actually do anything? Let's find out. Did he just f***ing eat it? For the trophy lights out, we need to turn off the spotlight generator in Pittsburgh without being spotted. And like a true stealth professional, I managed to do it with ease by taking the long way around. Oh my god, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Turns out that was a bad idea. And after a few failed attempts, we finally managed to turn the generator on. Should we get a trophy? There we are, lights out. God damn it. For this next trophy, Waterlocked, we need to ride the sewer contraption with Henry and Sam. And of course I missed it. Will it come back? You're gonna have to replay that part. It's a trophy to ride that thing. Ah, oh, f*** me, really? They just f***ing took off without me. So we'll have to come back later in the video to get it. Now this next trophy is arguably the hardest trophy in the game. A trophy so unthinkable that no one has dared complete it on their first try. Until today we are going to get the trophy left hanging on our first try. And all we have to do is leave Ellie hanging after a job well done. Teamwork. High five. Oh no, just like the trophy waterlogged, we'll have to come back later to get it. But shortly after, we are reunited with Joel's brother Tommy. And while in his fortified settlement, we come across Buckley the dog. So naturally we pet him, which gets us the trophy, who's a good boy. Oh, trophy, who's a good boy? I mean, who, who wasn't going to do that though? We then became combat ready by fully upgrading a weapon. Now I wonder if there's a trophy for uh, upgrading one weapon fully. Oh, there is, combat ready. Just felt like a trophy that should come up. After what I can only describe as a disturbing encounter with Ellie, what the f We are able to unlock the next two missable trophies. And for the first one, sharpest tool in the shed, you get for finding all the workbench tools. There we go, sharpest tool in the shed. And the other missable trophy, prepared for the worst, we get for finding all workbenches. Ooh, this might be the last one. Yep, 
prepared for the worst. We've now reached the end game and are able to get the trophy, no matter what, for completing the main story, which ends with us confronting the Fireflies, who intend to sacrifice Ellie in the hopes of finding a cure for the infection. So we did the only logical thing we could do, and that was absolutely massacre everyone inside. Shit, I'm using this gun, mate. Oh, good aiming, mate. I was game style, silent but deadly. <laughs> Let one rip and then walk away. Knife to a gunfight. <laughs> you all, I hate you. I don't care. No witnesses, mate. I'm ruthless. And after escaping, Joel lies about what happened to Ellie without even hesitating. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the fireflies is true. I swear. <laughs> oh, trophy no matter what. Complete part one. The story is now complete, but as I said earlier in the video, I missed a couple of trophies. But what I didn't tell you is that most of the trophies in this game are missable, including a whole bunch of trophies related to the collectible. And I missed several of them at the start of the game. But because chapter select is a piece of shit, and it locks you out of future chapters, I decided it was easier to start New Game Plus. On the hardest difficulty, all right? The hardest is always at the top. <laughs> Doesn't say very light, I swear. And for the trophy sticky fingers, we get for finding all six safes in the game. These are unlocked by finding a note close by that contains the six digit safe code. Oh, sticky fingers. Open all safes, there you go. Next, we had to build them up, break them down, which we get for upgrading and then breaking every melee weapon. And the last one we needed for the trophy was the two by four. Yeah, build them up and break them down. We then made it back to the sewers, but we missed the trophy waterlogged. But this time we made sure to rush over to the sewer contraption as soon as Ellie got off the raft. I got on, I made it, I've done the impossible. I will get a glorious trophy for this moment. It will be cemented in all of history. I rode whatever this thing is, it's something. I'll probably tell you before in the actual video itself. There we go, trophy waterlogged. Ride the sewer contraption with Henry and Sam. And now we're back to the hardest trophy in the game, left hanging. But this time I came prepared. Yeah, nah, mate, I'm not. No teammate for you, mate. Get bullied. Maybe if I just walk faster. <laughs> left hanging. <laughs> leave Ellie hanging after a job well done. Really? Just gonna leave me hanging? Yes. We get the trophy Endure and Survive by finding all the comic books. Comic book. Endure and survive. We then became the master of unlocking after breaking into every locked door using shivs. Will I get a trophy for this shiv door, I wonder? Yes, trophy, master of unlocking. And behind that door, we get the next trophy, something to fight for, after finding all the training manuals. Oh, something to fight for. And for the trophy, look for the light, we needed to find all firefly pendants. So once I collect this last pendant, another trophy. In, there we go, look for the light. And even though we now have all the trophies in the main part of the game, there are still 10 trophies left to get the platinum. And these trophies come from the mode Left Behind, originally a DLC for the older versions of the game, but now required for the platinum in the remake. So we quickly moved on to the next trophy, Brickmaster, where we need to be Ellie's friend Riley in a brick throwing contest. And all we have to do is be the first to smash all the windows of the car. I won, mate. Yes, Brickmaster. Yeah, any louder and you track the infected over here. The next two trophies are connected to both the main story and left behind, with the first being getting to know you, which we get for hearing every optional conversation. All right. Oh, getting to know you. And that's all I got for surviving all of Ellie's jokes. Now, Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa. Oh, why are these all stuck together? Oh no. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind, it was too cheesy. I don't get it. Sucked in, never got to eat pizza. Yes, that's all I've got. Stop that. Oh, hell are you breathing in this stuff?
We then came across an arcade room where we can get the next two trophies. And for the trophy Nobody's Perfect, all we need to do is play Jack X on the arcade machine. But just as the trophy suggests, my eyesight is not perfect, as I somehow walked right past the machine. I mean, how did I not see that? I guess that's why they call me Botchmaster Rob. So we'll have to come back later to get that. But at least we were able to get the trophy Angel Knives for defeating Black Fang without being hit, which I did on my first try. Oh no, no. Yes, Angel Knives. I totally got that first try, I didn't stuff up. For the next trophy, skills. We need to defeat Riley in a water gun fight. And to show off my skills, I went in guns blazing. And by guns blazing, I mean we spent the entire time hiding and waiting for her to come to us. Right, how did I miss? I won, mate. Nah. What a chicken sh**. One mate skills. We get the final collectible trophy chronicled after collecting every note and artifact. After a press play. Yeah, chronicles. Shortly after getting that trophy, we stumbled upon a few clickers that we could use to get the trophy live bait, where all we have to do is throw a brick to lure the clickers into attacking the group of hunters. Live bait. Throw bricks or bottles to lure infected into attacking a human. We get the next trophy, Don't Go, for completing Left Behind, which ends with both Ellie and Riley getting infected. Oh, big trophy, Don't Go. Now there's only one trophy left before the Platinum. Nobody's perfect. And this time we went straight to the Jack X machine. <laughs> Ellie passes the finish line. That's actually what I missed. Nobody's perfect, say hey, Jack X. And the shiny Platinum. Can't be for nothing. Like all trophies. And there we have it, 100% of the trophies. And I did it all without dying a single time. I truly am the greatest gamer to ever exist. F you made it to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay platinum. <laughs>